So the topic of this lecture is evolution and natural selection. And before we jump into all the details, uh, I do want to just say that there's a lot of people who have really strong feelings about evolution and the theory and where it fits into their own personal view um, of life and their religion. And I have a lot of respect for that. And this is a biology class and so what I expect from this class is for you to be able to understand the theory of evolution by natural selection and be able to explain it uh, but this is not an attempt to convert you to some sort of viewpoint or to challenge religious beliefs instead I just want you to understand the best scientific explanation we have for the diversity of life right now I come at this from sort of a unique background in that I am a evolutionary biologist through and through and a practicing Catholic and I can have those th two things uh, interact perfectly fine in my life uh, and if you want to have a conversation about that and how that's possible we can do that in office hours sometime. Alright so back to evolution and natural selection. So how do we explain the diversity of life? This is one of the questions humans have always had as we look around and see different plants and animals. How do we explain where all that came from? We've talked about there's between 10 and 100 million different species on the planet. How do we get all those? And the amazing thing is that each one seems to fit in its particular environment. So in 1859, Charles Darwin and Alfred Wallace proposed the theory of evolution by natural selection. And this is an explanation for how do we get the diversity of life? Where did it all come from? And the theory has two main parts. Number one is the process. The process evolu of evolution is the idea that organisms are constantly changing over time. The second part of the theory of evolution by natural selection is the pattern and this is the idea that all organisms have descended from a common ancestor. And usually when people are unsure about evolution, it's the pattern piece that makes them uncomfortable. The process piece, the fact that organisms change over time, we've got a lot of solid evidence for. So here's a picture of Darwin as a young man um, and this is the ship he sailed on on his famous voyage on the HMS Beagle and you can see he started in England and sailed all the way around the world. Uh, he's most famous for the time he spent here in the Galapagos Islands um, but he actually only spent three weeks there uh, on a three-year trip and spent a great deal more time in South America um, and he took a copious notes about what he saw, he made a lot of collections, um, and the notes and collections that he made as a young man he sort of thought about uh, for 30 years before he actually got to publishing the theory of evolution by natural selection. This is Darwin as a much older man uh, when he actually did his publishing. This is Alfred Wallace and this is sort of an interesting story. This is where the personalities of the time affect the science. Uh, so Alfred Wallace was doing work over in this part of the world and he was making many of the observations that Darwin had made as a younger man and he admired Darwin very much and he wrote him a letter saying hey I have these crazy ideas about how organisms might change and what do you think about this idea and Darwin went uh-oh this kid has come up with the same theory that I came up with. And so they spoke, uh, wrote letters, and decided to publish their information together. Darwin is the one who's most famous and known for this because uh, he went on two years later to publish a book which is The Origin of Species where he uh, expanded upon the theory and that's why Darwin really gets credit. Although there's some question historically whether Darwin would have published at all if Wallace hadn't sort of pushed him towards it. Darwin was very aware of the possible religious implications of his work. Uh, his wife was a very religious woman and that was part of what kept him from moving, a fo moving forward to publish.